Uh, welcome to the channel if you are new and welcome back to the people in the tribe who have been here since whenever, right? I am Shawnee and I am trying to do things differently with my life um, and I'm staging a reclamation and doing things differently than I've ever done before, which is why this channel is called Shawnee Interrupted. So if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe um, to the channel, like the videos, comment. I'd love to hear how you guys are doing. Today, I wanted to actually talk about a few of the diet programs or weight loss programs, weight management programs that I have tried um, over the past, I want to say, few years. Um, and I want to talk about five in particular um, and tell you what has worked, what hasn't worked, what I liked about the ones that I have tried thus far. And it all comes down to one common thing, I think, which helps everything be effective, which is why I'm doing it this way. Um, and I like it. So the first one that I want to talk about is pretty popular. And I think it's the second most recent one I tried, and that would be Noom. Um, Noom is a program that tries to use psychology, tech, excuse me, technology and human coaching to help you. Sorry, my ring was going off to help you to reach your goal. I started Noom and I started, you know, listening to some of the class or reading the articles and taking some of the classes or courses to try to understand the psychology behind why I'm overweight. Um, and I guess I learned some good facts and some some nice little things. But that idea, the way of working didn't really resonate with me. Um, when I was starting this journey in January this time, I considered going back to Noom and of course, they were throwing deal after deal after deal at me, but I just didn't sign up because I never felt like there was enough for me to be able to connect the dots. Yes, psychologically, I get, you know, why I did certain things or it was kind of helpful in that regard. But I don't think that they taught me or showed me anything that I didn't already know. So there were no aha moments or no major epiphanies that helped me to switch my way of thinking or my way of moving as far as eating right, healthy, whatever, and losing the weight. So um, it wasn't really effective for me. I did like the approach of the classes or whatever. I didn't really get to the point of meeting the coach and maybe that would have made a difference, but um, Noom wasn't for me. Um, but it has some great values things, but it was really kind of expensive for me, I felt like doing all the work on my own, which I could have done anyway. Um, Weight Watchers is number two. Um, it's been a while since I've tried Weight Watchers, but Weight Watchers has been one that I have tried on more than one occasion. And I usually join with somebody because they wanted to do it or whatever. And the one thing um, that I didn't like Weight Watchers kind of to me is the same as counting calories and macronutrients because you're you're using points to decide what you're going to eat and what you're not. Um, if it's the, still the same, because it's been a while since I even investigated what Weight Watchers was about. But it was about the points and your meals and all that other stuff. And it was so popular that you could find, you know, the point uh, uh, total, like how many points per serving on different things. So it made it a lot easier um, sometimes to say, okay, one serving of this equals four points or whatever. So in that respect, it was a lot easier than how I am doing it. I'm counting calories and I have to, you know, well, I actually have an app that helps just, you know, plug it in. So it's not that much harder. Um, but I didn't like the fact that I would go to some of these meetings, uh, usually with a friend of mine. And the only person that I felt some community with or, um, camaraderie with was my friend. And so I didn't find the necessity of Weight Watchers, I guess, because we would do things like we would come and we'd weigh in. And it was the big thing about coming and weighing in was um, you were nervous about that. So that was part of the motivation of keeping, you know, on track during the week because, you know, you had to weigh in on a whatever day your meeting was. Um, but then after that, it was kind of like a whew, now we can go eat something really bad for us and then stretch ourselves out until we weighed in. That's how we took it. And we, you know, kind of approached it in that regard so um I didn't find it really effective I you know don't know if it's the same now or whatever the case may be but um it really again like wasn't my cup of tea um 
But I know that Weight Watchers works for a lot of people, and I'm not knocking any of these if it works for folks. Um, but it just wasn't my cup of tea. Um, keto. The last thing that I tried before, um, right before the pandemic, and I, the reason I kind of stopped when I did was because of the pandemic was the keto diet. Um, I did it for 30 days before um, we kind of went on lockdown, and I lost 13 pounds within that 30 days. But it was a rough 30 days. I was excited about the results. I really was. But it was rough in that I was struggling hard to just make sure I maintained enough fat. So I'm buying special things like the bomb, the um, fat bomb uh, creamer and, you know, different candies with extra fat in it just so I can get that fat intake in. And I went through the ketogenic flu at one point you know where you just feel horrible um and i'm testing i'm using the strips i'm you know doing all that when i do something i get super dedicated and i try to do it the way that it's supposed to be done so i was checking to see if i was in ketogenesis or you know all that um and it became a whole task and it became daunting and um the results were fantastic but the work that you had to put into it was too much to sustain to me. And it was also, to me, it is unreal to say I am going to eliminate these things from my diet that naturally work for me, that are not necessarily unhealthy. They just don't work for keto. Like, I eat a lot of fruit. I like fruit. I eat um, a lot of vegetables, too. I eat um, carbs. I, I am a probably, I wouldn't say a carb junkie, but maybe, maybe a carb junkie. Maybe I'm just in denial or something, but I could not see myself just giving up carbs um, in a, as a means of losing weight. I believe in balance because to me, it just seems unsustainable to do that forever. For some people, it's not a big deal. For me, it just doesn't make any, it didn't make any sense. Uh, my nephew has been doing the keto thing for quite a while. He has had successes. He has come off and gone back on, and it seems to be something that is a lot easier for him. I have a hard time with it. While I am a carnivore, which is not the only way you can get protein, I know, I have a hard time just in when I'm counting macronutrients to make sure I'm maintaining my protein intake and my fiber. But So I'm not eating a lot of meat, and it, that was hard for me. And then I'm mis mixing protein like powders and stuff into different things. Um, which was a little easier, but it just was hard to take. It was hard. Um, I still need to increase the amount of protein. So I still use those protein powders and, um, protein drinks and all that other stuff, shakes that, you know, the pre-made stuff. So I still do that, but it just doesn't feel like it's something that is sustainable for me. I am trying to take an approach now that is different from the ketogenic diet and so far so good. Um, the other thing I tried was healthy wage. Now, if you have never heard of healthy wage, healthy wage is a way where you actually pay money, get this, pay money into kind of like a pool thing. You join a team, you create a team and you guys all join together, whatever, or you can join a, a pre-made team where you pay money to, you know, for a certain amount of months or whatever. If you meet goals, if you lose whatever, they will pay you to lose the money, the weight or whatever. Um, it did not work clearly. And I felt like I was throwing away money, kind of like folks joining gyms and then not ever going. It was kind of like that. Um, I got injured, uh, right around that time. And I kind of joined only cause somebody asked me to, and I'm like, okay, yeah. But in my mind, I wasn't mentally prepared to do what it would take to get the weight off because I wasn't, I wasn't there. And we honestly cannot do any of this if our mindset is not there to change the thing that we are trying to change. Um, and so I just kind of watched money being deducted from my account every month, uh, for like six months, I think until it was over and it was, and you can't like cancel cause you know, you kind of sign something that says I will do this until the end. Um, it's a great, to me, a great scam if, because I think that they prey on folks like me who are not going to do what they need to do. Um, because you have to maintain a certain amount of whatever before you get the, the money. So 
you know, health freaks or whatever are not going to be able to join it and make the money that they are promising. You know, it just is not feasible for them to pay out as much as they say they're going to. But they can have people like me who they don't have to pay out for. So they're making money. Um, great business model, but not necessarily great for weight loss um, for somebody like me. Now, somebody may have said that they've done health, healthy wage and cleaned up on it, but it did not work for me. And I should have been kicking myself or told the guy no when he asked me to join his team because he only asked because you know he's like I need big people because we have a bigger chance of getting the money because you know the bigger you are the more weight you have to lose the higher percentage the more money so it's that kind of circle um so if you feel like you are ready for healthy wage like right now I feel good about what I'm doing and I truly think that I'm in a better place mentally to do the healthy wage thing but I'm not doing it for that. That's not my motivation. Like the, oh, I'm going to make money doing this. I am trying to be true to myself. And that's just one more layer of just madness to me. Yes, it's a layer of accountability, I guess, because of the payout. But it's madness that I'm not really looking forward to. And I have tried HelloFresh and I like some of their recipes. I didn't necessarily use the weight loss ones or the you know, the lower calorie ones. I just was trying healthy uh, Hello Fresh because I wanted to try it. And they had some really good recipes. Um, but it was uh, not always the freshest or whatever. So I stopped using Hello Fresh. Now, I do think that when you are doing things like Nutrisystem or I know there are plenty of them besides um, HelloFresh and Nutrisystem. I, I tried Revive Foods. It was way too expensive for what you got. Um, and there was another one. Not Revive Foods, but there's that's one. And I tried one of them. Um, Daily Harvest, I think it was. And you get the smoothies and all that other stuff. It was just way too expensive. But I have the ability, like when you're on these meal plans, you do choose what you want. But it's always not necessarily what you want. And... It's great that it's pre-portioned. That's one of the, the upsides of it. It's pre-portioned. You know, you know what you're going to get, how many calories, and you can plan your whole week that way if you want, and if you can afford to do that. But it's expensive. And so the one thing that these have, with the exception of the last one, the meal plan, um, is that sense of community. And I think that's the one thing that I could take away from all of them is when you have a community, you are going to be much more successful, which is why I'm doing it this way. This is, like I said before, when I first started this channel, something that I never would have done before. So it is actually helping a lot because I have to be thoughtful and focused enough on what I'm doing to be able to say, hey, this is what I'm doing, right? I have to be accountable to you, but I have to be accountable to myself to make sure I'm doing what I said because I don't want to be a liar, right? Um, but the sense of community where people are, you know, say, hey, I saw your video, like I get a lot of um, responses, I, I saw your video um, and I loved it or keep going and, you know, a lot of encouragement from my people and I appreciate that. Um, that's part of what, you know, keeps you going and if you don't have that sense of community or sense of accountability to yourself, if nobody else, you have to be accountable to yourself, but it helps when you tell somebody, share, share so that people can be encouraging, can you know, help you if you fall off the wagon, can be that gentle reminder or whatever, like, how are you doing, you know, or, you know, if you want to go to the gym, let's go together, let's do whatever. Those are the things that work when you're trying to do this. Um, it is just hard to do alone, but plenty of people do it. I've done it, you know, to a certain degree alone, but this is so much better. Um, it's so much more rewarding. It's so much more giving when you know I'm doing it this way so I appreciate this journey more than I've ever appreciated before and so that one piece that community piece is important I am choosing a, a plan of my own making essentially which is eating a balanced diet um, counting calories and macronutrients mostly calories at this point um, and showing and having some success with that it's not to say that I'll never try keto again, you know, I may do it, uh, you know, to say this is my review, but, you know, and Noom has a 14 day free trial that you can try that I may say, hey, let me see, you know, um, there are different things that I may try just for the sake of, of 
seeing how they've improved things, how much better they work for me now that my mindset is different. Um, and then I'm on this journey for real, for real. Um, but right now, I'm cool. I'm good with what I'm doing. Um, what have you tried that you felt that I can add to this list? What worked, what didn't work? And what's one of the, some of the most important things that you've discovered? Some things that you've taken away from these programs that you continue to utilize and do? Um, I'd love to hear. But I think that's it for me. I may come on again before my weigh-in on Sunday. My goal, ojalá, I'm, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers to try to make sure that I can meet my goal um, this week or Sunday starting next week um, as opposed to having to wait and go till the 31st or whatever. But I'm pretty confident that I'm going to get there. Um, it's been a good week so far. I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, if you are struggling, reach out and let's talk about it. Um, and if nothing else, don't forget to protect your peace and to protect your knees. I thank you for listening and being a part of my journey.